Yo, so for season two of Warzone 2, there's a few guns that are going to be seen as meta. We had the RAL that got nerfed, we had the RPK that got nerfed. So I want to bring this quick video to you with the viable weapons for you to use in this season. I'm going to be showing you the attachments as well as the weapon tuner for them all. Nice, quick, simple video. Try them out. See what you like for yourself. Anything on here is viable for any skill range. They're all pretty solid top tier choices. I'll just be looking at the ARs and the SMGs as at the moment I don't think there's any LMGs that can be quite put in the meta category and I don't really have too much knowledge on snipers and shotguns to really add them into it. But with that being said, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Kick where I stream regularly, Warzone, Ranked, other games as well I am going to do, music blah blah blah, that's in the description and let's get into this. I'm going to turn off my camera just so I'm not covering any of the attachments but we're first going to start with the long range quote unquote meta or viable weapons. I'm going to start with the lower tier and we'll work our way up to the better weapons in the category but our first one is the lockman 556 ar so here's your attachments here what i'll do quickly is just show you the tuning for each one as you can see here there's no tuning on the barrel itself as you see there's too much negative when we do that it's the same if you do the other way as well so it's a uh, zero zero for the barrel i'll bring the d20 plus 1.13 on the left plus 58 at the bottom f tack all the way up on recoil stabilization all the way for idle sway we got minus 1.45 towards ads and plus 180 towards close this close to far is personal preference though completely up to yourself do you want the scope to be bigger do you want it to be smaller okay so we're in the firing range and i'm just going to show you what these weapons look like i'll be doing this for every single one as you can see pretty nice not a lot of recoil And if I just hold the trigger down while trying to control it. So the second weapon we got here is literally what I call the nerfed AMAX. This is simply the cast off 545. So here's your attachments. Again, you can do ADS on this one is all the way to minus three for the optic with far on this one. I prefer the far. Then we got the IGK30 barrel plus 27 towards recoil steadiness plus 31 on the damage range. I'll bring a D20, plus 68 on speed coil, plus 64 bullet velocity, f tack again all the way for both, 45 on the mag, and this is what this looks like. Now we just shoot this one. So it's like down, it's like it's a left, then you start wiggling side to side. So I'm sure everyone already knows this one's coming. Uh, this is the TAC-56. This is probably the second best AR in the game at the moment. What we have for this is the 17.5 Tundra barrel, plus 35 on the left. I just moved that, but it was plus 40 on, plus 30, sorry, on the damage range. You got the Echoless on this. Now, you can use the Harbinger again. I personally just like the Echoless on this one, but all the way 140 on recoil, all the way to one on bullet velocity. Again, f tac Ripper, all the way on both. High velocity, plus 27 on the left, minus 2.9 on the right, just to help a bit more with the recoil. And then the 60 mag. And this is what this one looks like. It's pretty simple. Here's your recoil. So pull down, pull slightly left, and then pull down again. All right, and this brings us to arguably the best AR in the game at the moment. This is the ISO Hemlock. And for this one, we're running the AIM OP optic again all the way close all the way to flinch resistance although for this one if you really wanted to again this is all personal preference for the optic if you wanted a bit more ads what you'd want to do is just bring this down you see until it goes the handling goes to about here 0.98 so then after that the accuracy goes down so around about 0.98 is where you want this then we got the fielder t50 barrel plus 16 on left plus 22 at the bottom i'll bring a d20 suppressor plus 68 plus 7 at bottom f tac plus 67 plus 37 now i didn't take this one all the way the reason is as you can see i don't know if you see here but the handling goes down but you don't get any more benefit to your accuracy than if you do when you pull it down a little bit so you want it around plus 70 around about there just to bring the accuracy back and the handling back up and then i've got the aim idle stability as well at the bottom 45 mag it's the biggest one you can get for that and this is what this one looks like Pull down, pull down, pull down, pull down to your left. I pulled down too hard on the left end. I don't know if you saw that fling off. 
That just comes with practice. But yeah, that is probably the best AR in the game, but all these four ARs are completely viable. So with that being said, let's have a little look at the close range meta. So for this one, we first of all got our P90. So the P90 is excellent because of its mobility. You got a lot of movement speed on this, especially even compared to other submachine guns. So for this one, it's really built to be able to strafe side to side. Don't know if you can see how fast that is. But let me pull up the attachments for you and then we'll go into this. So for this one, it's the VLK laser, 7mm, plus 24 on the left, plus 27.97 at the bottom, just to bring back in a bit more the aim and idle stability. Reason being is this class is for more pre-aims, you know, coming around corners in the pre-aim status. If you really want to, you can move it to the ABS slider instead. This is just what I find to be best. Next, we got the hollow extended stock. We minus 2.19 on the left, plus minus 1.08 at the bottom. The tack comb, all the way to aim and walk speed and all the way to ADS. The Bruin Q900 grip is minus 39 on the left, minus 22 at bottom. And then the final attachment is personal preference. So I prefer the Slimline Pro Optic. There's my numbers for that. However, if you wanted to, what you can do take this optic off come down to the rail add this integrated rail in so what this is going to do is it's going to give you more movement speed you'll see in a sec how quick this is but what you can do is bring the sprint speed up you want to get it again just until this see this recoil comes down so you want to get it just about there so around about minus 25 you can do either bring this up if you want a more sprint to fire or if you want a bit more recoil bring it the other way but for us we're building it as speed it's up close the recoil is not much of a problem so we can slide it if we wanted to you see there's a big jump there unfortunately for this the only way to get that big jump is to take that negative hit if that's something you'd want to do yourself and have a little play around but if we were to do that you can see we've got a different optic here now and the gun itself is a lot quicker you can see how fast i am actually strafing this now and i was to move forward with it or back got really good speed again this is more of a build for coming around corners pre-aimed but let me just shoot this so you can see what it's like. As you can see, it gets a bit wobbly at range, but it's an SMG. That's not what it's for. But for these up close fights, you're not really going to have a problem. So the next SMG I want to bring up to you is, is the Lockman Sub. Now this one is built the opposite of the P90. This one's more for hip fire. Some people won't like that. I find in this game, when you raid the S of SMGs, there's a lot of the times where it's a bit too slow. That's why the P90 was making it faster, but you trade off recoil. So for this one, it's more hit fire build wise. However, you still got the ability if you want to to ADS. So for this, you get the stockless mods, the hip shot L20 laser. Here's the numbers for that. It's just all the way, all the way. Nice and easy. 40 mag, Lockman Precision 40. If you don't have this, you can use the Merc. Both work great. All the way to hit fire for both. And then you can do one of two things after this. You can either go for the FTAC M sub 12 inch. You only want the left to be minus 0.3 because then you'll otherwise start getting a negative on your recoil. Plus 34 on the damage range. I'll show you what this looks like and then we'll change the attachment. Again, this one is built more for hit fire. So as you can see, it's not as snappy as the p90 but i'll still show you the ads in a sec but this is what the hit fire itself looks like in close quarters you can just get the hit fire that you want so obviously at range you'll be hit firing into the ads but so again up close it's not really an issue especially like the range this guy's at you know you can no problem but if you did need to extend your range you've still got that ability if you really need to if you don't want to use this uh, barrel, you think it's too slow, there's two different builds you can do for this. We can either make it so it's more of a close ranged weapon, bring in the smaller barrel. What I like to do, this is what I was doing on my build, is you just want to bring it up until the recoil gets better. You'll see the mobility is a little bit better, so it's around about plus 32. And then we can bring in some more of the damage range that we lost. It's plus 16. This will make it, as you can see, a lot more snappier. But you do lose a bit of range you can see there's a lot more bounce to it of the ads or the hit fire depending on what you need and then finally there's one more variable build of this if you don't want any barrel because they do give positives and negatives then you can play it safe come all the way to this flash hider 
here till you see the big jump on the recoil that's a plus 22 minus 33 to 34 again same same as before So there's three different ways you can build this hip fire. You can make it slower and more accurate. You can make it faster in terms of EADS and your movement speed, but it's a little bit bouncier. Or this build I'm holding in my hands is more of the in the middle. This is the one I'm holding right now is my personal preference, but each has the merits and drawbacks. So this is the MP7 build. Again, this one is for hip fire as well. So this one, we got the LM Series 7, minus 0.2 on the barrel, plus 18 on the stock. The reason for this is it builds your ADS speed. All you're losing is a bit of movement speed and damage range, but we're gonna build that back into the class. Lock, grip, precision. Again, you can use the Merc if you don't have this one. Hit fire and hit fire actually is plus six two and plus three two. Hip shot L20, hip spread all the way, and then hip hook and speed all the way as well. You got the demo RTX stock, nice and simple. So at minus 29 on the left to bring some ADS back in plus 1.1 to bring some accuracy back at the bottom again with this there's two different variables we can either go for 50 mag we can go for the soldier grip which is minus 39 on the ads minus 20 on the sprint to fire but again hit fire on this is very nice fire into your ads so like that the one thing i've noticed about the mp7 though if you need to although it's not built for it you can actually extend the range out the recoil isn't as bad as the MP5, especially not with the 50 mag on. See how wobbly that is? But if I was to come here, if I was to use it like this instead. As you can see, there's a fair bit less recoil. However, your ADS, you do lose out on the ADS speed. So again, each to their own, whichever you prefer. I personally am really liking this MP7 build at the moment. This is what I've been running lately in pubs. Okay, so for our final build, we got the Vaznef. This one is more for ADS as well. This one's got a bit more range to it than the other SMGs. Cast Barrel. Uh, we got plus 18 on left, plus 17 at the bottom. We got the Karaya Laz 44 V3 Laser. Minus 18 on the left, minus 23.03 at the bottom. We got the Broadside Stock, and that is minus 2.06 on the left plus 90 at the bottom then we've got the true tap true tap grip which is minus 40.45 on the left minus 19 at the bottom and a 45 mag as you can see with this one we've got nice ads it's nice overall got a nice handle learn and if we want to shoot the gun we can see if we really wanted to although i wiggle a little bit at the end we can extend that range if we needed to But there you have it there's the best ars and the best smgs in the game along with my personal preference for each everyone's got a little bit of a slight preference uh to each one again like with the mp7 mp5 build mine's more of a hit fire you might see other people doing it a different way but yeah try it out give those smgs a go let me know how you find the hit fire because for me it's working and if you find any of these classes useful and you hit some prs of it let me know in the comments again leave a like i go live on kick link in the comments and i'll catch you next time